Hi guys, it's Gok Wan here. So it's my 152nd year of judging these awards and it's so tough. How can you choose a piece of art or photography or writing against the other one? And just the idea that actually we're choosing a winner seems completely wrong here because there is genuinely no piece better than the other. The most beautiful thing about art is that it's subjective. But unfortunately, I have been asked for my opinion. Uh, the first thing I want to say is every single piece is amazing. And I'm not just saying that. You have to look into my eyes right now. You've got to believe me. Everything is so beautiful. The construction, the colours, obviously the messages, the amount of work that's been put behind these pieces, the group pieces, all the effort. I can just imagine all of you amazing students getting together, talking, discussing, creating these wonderful messages out there. Um, it's really important. 2017 is really difficult globally for all of us. A lot of the world are experiencing huge problems at the moment and it affects all of us. And believe it or not, your artwork, the stuff that you create, is the perfect message of hope for many countries and many people out there that aren't as fortunate as us. So thank you on behalf of the world right now for sending your message out and for giving us hope and letting us believe that actually we can live in far more harmony. Um, I've had to choose. But I'm in trouble because I can't choose just one piece. And I've chosen three pieces that instantly, as soon as I saw them or read them, they meant a huge amount to me. So the first one is Wrap In It by the wonderful Brendan Woods at the Phoenix Academy Trust. There's something about rap music that terrifies some people just because they don't understand the rhythmic beats or the language uh, or really what rap is about. But what I love about this piece is actually it's for me not really rap it's spoken word it's poetry it's a message hidden behind a very clever way of construction and also brendan you're so brave for using words that we shy away from the fact that you've used the word racist in there we have to talk about these kind of things and when i read your rap when i read your poem it makes me believe that you truly understand that you want a better space and actually we have to be discussing the stuff that's not great in our world so congratulations you are absolutely one of our three winners i really really love it and continue with your writing because you are very very talented and i absolutely can see a future for you at the, out there in the creative world uh, the second one is called A Dream, written by Matthew Hill at Maypel and Witcham Primary School in Cambridgeshire. Um, Matthew, I don't even know how old you are, but you are amazing. Your poem or your piece of writing is so simple. And the part that really stands out to me is the last line where you say, I dream that the world can do just that. And what you're talking about is making the world a better place. Matthew, I really, really wish that the leaders around this world could listen to your poem right now because actually your hope and your optimism is exactly what we need in the world right now. So that's why I've chosen your piece as one of our three winners. Congratulations, it's incredible. And thirdly, it's a visual piece just here and it's the diversity rug. And it's, and okay, forgive me now with the names, Inverkline College, I'm not even gonna say where you are, but from Inverkline College. Um, this piece is amazing. I think it's absolutely phenomenal. I think the concept is very simple. The idea of a rug, instantly you think of a warm, safe place where you feel nice and cosy, but then embedded in the tapestry of that rug are all of your political messages. It's such a clever thing to do. Instantly when I saw that, I wanted to touch it, but I'm glad it's in that casing because I think actually the piece of art shouldn't be touched. I think it's absolutely amazing. The construction's beautiful. It looks visually superb, it's so impressive. Um, obviously the message is on top of that as well, but just the clear color use, that wonderful bright stark white and then the, all that wonderful ivory on top of it, for me is really, really stimulating. Um, I honestly do believe that some of the greatest designers in our world have been hugely political. People like Vivian Westwood, um, Catherine Hamnett. Uh, these designers would go crazy for what you've created because it's a message out there. And what you've done is you've created not only a rug, but you've created a safe place for us to look, touch, feel. All of our senses want to get involved with that. And, and I think it's absolutely beautiful and I do believe you should show your work at either a design or a fashion museum somewhere because I think the whole world needs to see this piece and this has been difficult but congratulations to everyone I love all the pieces I'm so so sorry I've had to choose us three of them it's the worst job in the world it really is because you are super talented and I really really appreciate what you've done but well done to Brendan Matthew and all the kids at Inverkline I'll see you soon